science grade 10 combined gas law our objective is solve problems and combined gas law combined gas law expresses the relationship between the pressure volume and absolute temperature of a fixed amount of gas its formula is p1 times v1 all over d1 is equal to p2 times v2 all over t2 where p1 is the initial pressure v1 is the initial volume t1 is the initial temperature while p2 is the final pressure v2 is the final volume and t2 is the final temperature in solving problems related to combined gas law don't forget to convert first degrees Celsius to Kelvin units. Sample problem number one. The oxygen tank manufacturer used to produce 5 liters oxygen tanks at 2000 PSI and 25 degrees Celsius. Statistics suggest that the 3 liters oxygen tank at 1500 PSI is more marketable. What temperature requirement is needed to produce 3 liters oxygen tank at 1,500 PSI? Now, let us recall the formula for combined gas law. It's P1 times V1 all over T1 is equal to P2 times V2 all over T2. Where P1 is the initial pressure, V1 is the initial volume, T1 is the initial temperature, P2 is the final pressure, V2 is the final volume and T2 is the final temperature. Now, we have the given values for P1 which is equal to 2000 PSI, V1 is 5 liters all over T1 which is equal to 298 Kelvin equals P2 which is 1500 PSI times 3 liters V2 all over T2 which is the unknown. Now to solve this problem, we need to multiply both sides with T2 and after doing so, we multiply again both sides with 298 Kelvin. In doing that, we'll be able to get T2 times 2000 PSI times 5 liters is equal to 1500 PSI times 3 liters times 298 Kelvin. Divide both sides with 2000 PSI times 5 liters. Then cancel the values to be cancelled. Then you'll have T2 is equal to 1,341,000 Kelvin over 10,000. Dividing that, then you'll have T2 is equal to 134 Kelvin. So that's combined gas law. This law expresses relationship between pressure, volume, and absolute temperature of a fixed amount of gas. Now it's your turn to solve the following problems. Good luck!